Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see in this video, I'm actually in a different area. This is my garage, my woodworking shop. So today I'm going to be making a workbench for my electronics lab. I'll bring you in here and show my two-year-old drawing plans that I made. Just a rough guide to show you what I'm going to be making here. Here you can see I've got my plans drawn up. So I'm going to be making a corner workbench. It's going to go into the corner of that room that I've been working out of. These little squares are where I'm going to be putting the legs. I want the workbench to sit about 32 inches tall, you know, off of the uh, floor. And then I'm going to have a uh, two by four skirting that goes underneath the workbench surface to hide cables and stuff. And then this is the style of the shelving. I'm going to have it like tiered. It'll actually look pretty cool. So yeah, these are the, the rough measurements I'm going off of. I'm sure I'll tweak it as I go along here. So I have it sort of mocked up, just kind of sitting on here. So this is the general size. Obviously I'm gonna gain a couple of inches right here. Oop. Uh, this is the height though. So I got, this is a good working surface. Um, I changed my mind. I might do a two by two skirting underneath here for hiding wires and stuff. Because the two by four is gonna be awfully close to my legs. So. Yeah, this is perfect height for me. These two here, I'm going to join together with pocket holes so you can't see it from the top side. I don't have a board to go here to join, you know, the two together right now. I might add that in the future, but for now it's just going to be a 90 degree turn. And maybe down the road I'll buy a small piece of this butcher board or butcher block and make a little triangle to make it a little more so you can access the corner a little more, but we'll see. For now, this is the general design. So I think my next step is to join these together with the uh, pocket holes, yeah.
as you can see, I got this thing in place. It's not fastened to the legs, it's just sitting on there. So I'm actually going to fasten them. I actually did three pocket holes on three faces, but the face that you can see is the one that I left without pocket holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and fasten all these legs down. Just do that off camera. And then I think my next plan of action is doing the shelves. Like I said, I'm gonna have shelves, one that's gonna run the whole length of the table pretty much, come up to, you know, a foot and a half or so. And then I'm gonna have another two tiered one. It's slightly skinnier, it's four foot wide. It's above that, so two shelves tall. Um, I'll have to get creative because I have my my house's main power coming in right there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then let's start working on the shelves. All right, I forgot to mention, I got the skirting all cut up and this is it just mocked up on the top because it's kind of hard to film underneath of a table. So this is what it's gonna look like, but underneath I gave myself an inch and a half gap you know, a ledge. That way I can still clamp things underneath if I need to. So yeah, just know that that's going to be what's underneath. Got everything all done here. Shelves are all made, cut the length. I ended up just starting that shelf over there beside my main panel. And then I'll put something tall like my second microscope up on top of that shelf right there. But go underneath. You can see I got the the skirting all done, all nice. Um, electricity, I am going to put a double gang box on the side mounted like that because I don't like outlets sticking straight forward because then you gotta plug in and then run the cords. So I'm gonna run a double gang box like that on that leg, that leg, that leg, and that leg. And then the two middle, those are, I'm going to probably put a TV screen somewhere in there just because that's hard to reach. It's, these are 25 inches deep. So yeah. All right. As you can see, I have the whole bench done. Um, I've pretty much got it set up the way I want it right now. I'll be adding a few more things. Like I have a bunch of component kits that are in slide out drawers. That's going to fill this entire area. Uh, so that's why this whole side is empty. I may move things around as I see, you know, as I work with it a little more, but we'll see. I've already worked on a few things. It's been actually like four days since the last clip you've seen. I'm actually in the middle of a project here. This is a whole another video, so I'll get into that. But, uh, actually I'll bring you a little bit closer off the tripod and just show you up close everything. So this corner, I have my magnifying lens that I can just pull to where, to where I'm working. My helping hands, I can just move to anywhere on the workbench because I actually put a ledge to where I can still clamp things all the way around the whole, whole bench. So the helping hands I can clamp anywhere. Got a spot for my huge microscope and now the bar can actually I can actually move this whole thing around without it knocking off stuff. I have a second smaller microscope I haven't got to really mess with yet, but yeah, I got everything set up here. I'm still going to be adding an oscilloscope up here and I'll probably get a better power supply, but back there I got my desoldering gun, the, uh, whatever that's called, the sucks up the smoke, and my soldering station. I got that screwdriver bit set, tucked away, out of the way. All my random supplies. This clamp is just a little novelty thing, but up top I got my Cricut Maker because this is actually like the office side. I actually make stickers. My, whole, my girlfriend actually makes, we do sublimation. She actually made this cup for me. Ignore my dinner, but yeah, but I make stickers, so. This is like the office side. Um, got my Atari 5200 diagnostics, my diagnostic cart, and the, the controller adapter. 
my random books I got down there. That's a whole project in itself right there too. Over here I got my shelf that I had before, but yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, this is my camera mount for doing the straight down shots, sort of like this. That's exactly where the camera's gonna sit. So yeah, that just mounts to the ceiling up there. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm gonna try to edit it down as much as I can. Um, I'm gonna start making my videos a little bit shorter because I don't think you guys need to see every little detail of every project. So I'll try to make them a little bit shorter and more enjoyable. I'm gonna slowly up my production every single video I make. I'm gonna to try to just make one thing better every video. So thank you guys for watching.